everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Larry Snow, and in this video, we'll be continuing on in our series, and this will be two of three, in which we are talking about uh, the three options you have to manage your MailChimp list. In the previous video, I talked about groups. In this video, I'm going to be talking about segments and how, how it works as a filter for your list. Then you can then send out emails specific to that segmentation. Sounds like fun? Let's do it. It's coming up next. Now, before I get started on segments, I just want to let you know that if you missed the last video and you want to catch up a little, please click on the link here and that will take you to the previous video where I talk about groups. And I also talk about the definitions of each uh, groups, segments, and tags. All right, so let's get started with segments. And so I'm in my MailChimp dashboard and we're gonna do the same process that we did to get to groups and to get to segments. So we go to audience. Then from the right-hand side, we click on manage audience, manage contacts. And then we're gonna click on manage contacts and select segments. As we look at segments, you'll see here that I have created a segment called new subscribers. And what I did on that segment was I created a filter that said, pick these people from this date forward so that I can market and email those particular people versus the people that are kind of stale and didn't know why they subscribed and all that type of thing. Now for you to take a look, I'll just kind of click edit. And you'll see here that I have 104 contacts that match my conditions. So again, it, think of it as a filter. So my filter is anyone that was added after uh, April 30th is in this filter, is in this segment. And I'm set it up so I e emailed those specific people to welcome them to the MailChimp list and welcome them to security marketing solutions and and send them expectations type of email, right? So that's one way you can do a segment. So let's go back under manage contacts, go back to segments. And now I'm going to click on create segments so you get to see all the options you have to filter out the details of your subscribers. So your first option is contacts that match any or the other option is all. In most cases, you'll probably use any. Then you, if you click on date added, that's your default, but look at all the options that you have in order to filter out the information related to your subscribers. So we have uh, campaign activity, which is the one that I used. Uh, you have email client, what email client are they using? Uh, the email marketing status, the information that's changed. If a particular subscriber went in and changed their information, you can filter out who did that. Uh, you can filter out by location. This is kind of a neat one. So if we click on location, you could say within a particular radius, which is really cool, or you can say within a particular country or not in the United States state or not in this particular city or it is in this particular city. So I really think of segments as if this, then that, that uh, open source tool, uh, ifttt.com, and it's similar to that, where you can say, if this equals this, then produce this particular segment. Now, if I click on down here, you'll see the groups that we created in the previous video. We'll see here, I'll click on cars. And if you, if you watched the previous video, you know that I created these other, these, the groups of cars called Porsche, Ferrari, and Ford. So I can say any contacts that have opted in or checked off the Porsche group, I'll select one of and click uh, preview segment. Of course, there'll be zero, uh, but I've created that segment now. So anyone that matches that criteria will now be put into this particular segment. Make sense? Now, in order to save a segment, you just click on save segment. You'd give it a name. So I'd give this uh, Ford subs or something like that. Click save. Oh no, this is uh, Porsche, I'm sorry. Porsche subs. Click save. 
Now that we saved our segment, how we can use this is when we send out campaigns. So we click on campaigns. I always do that. I don't know why, but you can just click the uh, green create button. Click create, click email. I'll just give this a name of test. Click begin. And then add recipients, you're gonna say choose an audience and you're just going to select the overall list name. And then here is your segment or tag. So we're going to click on segments. And here it is right here, poor subs. So when I send out this email, it will only go to the people that are in that segment. This is a really cool feature. Here you just uh, create a, a campaign like you usually would. You know, you click save here and then you do your from and all that stuff. Now, I don't have any subs in that particular segment yet. So it's warning me that there's no one in there. So I can't send anything, but you get the idea. There you go, guys. That's how you do MailChimp segmentation. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments about MailChimp segments, uh, tags, which will be the next video or groups, the previous video, post in the comments below. If you're new to this channel and you're liking the content, specifically MailChimp or WordPress or social media marketing, be sure to click the subscribe button and also that bell icon so that you get notified when a new video goes up on the channel. For more about me, go to larrysnow.me and I'll see you in the next video.